Well, good morning from another day at the Santa Monica Pier. And uh, good morning into actually another Giratina Raid. Last night we did Giratina Raid Hour. Uh, we were a little bit late. We only hit a couple of Giratina and we did not get the shiny. Lauren got her Pokedex though. Uh, she has yet to get a shiny legendary. So one of these days, uh, she went to go get uh, her eyebrows done diddly did because we're going to San Diego today actually which I'll talk about in a second But we're gonna have to get her because like everyone's got one free raid a day, right? So like we're gonna have to get her over here to Santa Monica Maybe on a daily basis um, to see if we can get her a shiny legendary or just ward legendaries That'd be cool or maybe get me a shiny legendary because I don't have one either <laughs> when it comes to Giratina that is um, So today we're gonna hit a couple Giratina raids in Santa Monica and then I do have to leave It's kind of a quicker hunt um, because again, we're heading to San Diego TwitchCon today So if you guys are are going to be at TwitchCon or around San Diego on Saturday. Uh, that is the day that I'll actually be at the event itself. And I'll also be, uh, I'll be doing some live streaming as well uh, with a actually brand new partner of mine, which I'll talk about when I know more about what I can and can't talk about. It'll probably be at the beginning of this video, but I will be live streaming. So look out on my social medias and whatnot for uh, for the live stream itself. And I'll be on a panel too, possibly, uh, at TwitchCon. There's a lot happening this year at TwitchCon that I'm a part of, so I'm super excited. But yes, this weekend, San Diego TwitchCon. And uh, we're driving there today. Let's get this Giratina. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first Giratina of the day, eight balls. Let's see it. Nowadays, I mean, especially after those Mewtwo raids, man, I just don't expect much when it comes to IVs or CPs, or sorry, IVs or Shinies. Let me know in the comments, do you guys have uh, your Shiny Giratina? Have, did anybody get it yet? Did anyone have this? Can anyone flex it? Well, uh, last ball here on Giratina, I, I, I feel like it did well. I didn't do horrible with my throws. Uh, a lot of them were excellence, a lot of them were curveballs. I, you know, only like nine balls though, so. Okay, first Giratina, how are we gonna start off today? Let's see it. Uh, that's how. All right, whatever. <laughs> Let's find another Giratina raid. And actually, oh, today also, we're gonna do some evolutions. We've got a raid happening here at the end of the pier in three minutes. The cluster, I've checked all these Pokemon already. So, well, for starters, let's get our stamp for the day because we still need to keep working towards more Unova stones. We got lucky with our first one um, and actually getting a stone out of it. But like, who knows when the next Unova stone's gonna come in. But with the next one, what do, what do we evolve? Probably the pan seer to pan soup. What is it? <laughs> Simiseer, right? Not pan soup, Simiseer. Pan poor, sorry, to simi poor, not pan seer. Probably evolve this guy, because why not? What I do want to do, speaking of evolutions, we actually have a lot of Generation 5 Pokemon that we do not have. Gosh, I still I still can't believe that we got this yesterday. That's so cool, and I can't believe we got this too. We've had some really, really good luck lately, actually. There's a lot of Generation 5 Pokemon that I don't have yet uh, that we need to evolve to. And what I want to do is evolve and start off actually with the, wait, can we, do we have enough for the Pharisee? No, we don't, we need 50. I wanna start off with the biggest evolution that we can do. And, uh, can I evolve this guy? No. Oshwat, we can't, well here. We'll search Unova, oh, you, you can't do that? That doesn't work? All right, well here, here's all of our Unova Pokemon. Remember, we do have the, ah, gosh, 98 Snivy that will evolve eventually. Uh, are any of our tap pigs good? Yeah, yeah. How about our Oshwat? We can't evolve an Oshwat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Panrat. Actually 96, okay. Well, the really big one that I do want to do is this Drillbur right here at 784. Remember we hatched this and it's a 98 IV Drillbur and this is probably one of the best Pokemon in generation five and definitely one of the best out of this wave because it's, it's oh my gosh. What it evolves into, I mean, it's CP, it's max CP, it's massive. So 
We're gonna go ahead and evolve this right now. We're gonna evolve our drill burr over to our drill bit. I know it's not called a drill bit, okay? I just, I make funny names. And we're gonna get this in the Pokedex because this is a super duper cool Pokemon, brand new generation five. Um, and we'll probably end up doing a couple more. There he is, Excadrill. His name is Excadrill. We'll probably do another uh, or a couple more generation five uh, evolutions throughout today's video. But I wanna start off with the big one. And this is a 98 at 1850. Look at that, so we might as well power this up. Um, we'll get this boosted up as much as we can. Definitely over 1900. This thing can go, if I'm not mistaken, at 100%. Uh, it could go to like around 3600. So this Pokemon can get beefy. Uh, we're obviously gonna get, like we're, we'll need to catch and hatch more uh, Drillbur in order to power this up because we don't have a lot of candies. I do have a ton of rare candies. And maybe I'll use it this video on this guy. Maybe we'll power him up as much as we can. We'll see. But this is definitely worth powering up because there's a ground and steel type at 98 IVs, totally worth it. So that's super awesome to finally get the Pokedex. And then uh, we've got to raid in a couple seconds here. So let's hop into that. All right, let's take the next Giratina out and we will be using the Drill Bit. I might just name it Drill Bit because like, let's be real. It is an extra drill, but like, Drill Bit or Drill Bit, man. It's just, it's, it's what the evolution is. This is a family tree. So, all right, let's see. How does this thing fare against a Giratina though? Which is an absolute monster. Ooh, I do like his attack, man. I'm kind of with it. We have Iron Head, which is a fat headbutt right there, head to head. Um, obviously, we're kind of getting uh, slapped up a little bit here. It is a Giratina at 38,000, okay? So, like, we're not gonna solo this, but he's gonna, he's hanging for a while. He's definitely taking hits pretty decently well. The moment a charge attack happens, I think that's game over for us, which is gonna happen in three, two, one. Thanks for, oh no, not really. Yeah, he took the charge, not too bad, okay. Excadrill might be a little bit of a viable option against, uh, against, oh wait, there it is, against Giratina. I'm not too bad about that. Thanks for coming out, extra drill, extra, extra drill. Drill bit, we're calling it drill bit. I do think I'm gonna power that up today, because again, I just have like an ungodly amount of rare candies from all these, uh, really from all the Mewtwo raids that we were doing, uh, so might as well put it in there, right? Because we didn't get a good IV Mewtwo and we didn't get a shiny Mewtwo, so I don't really have to worry about putting in extra candies into our Mewtwo, and even then we still have like 300 something candies, so like, might as well. Plus it's a, it's a 98 IV Gen 5. Like, it's, you know, like, if you're gonna power anything up, it might as well be one of those, huh? All right, Giratina down. This will be check number two. This might be the last Giratina raid of the video. Also, I need to go to Apple. Ladies and gentlemen, Giratina number two of the day. Ew. Man, IVs, man. <laughs> I'm just used to being disappointed <laughs> in raids after uh, after all those Mewtwo raids and then not ending with the shiny, so it's just like, bad IV, not shiny Giratina. It's, you know, we expected it. Okay, so now I wanna head into the city of Santa Monica. Maybe we do one or two more evolutions, um, and then, I think, I think I'm gonna power up the Excadrill. I think I'm gonna add some, uh, add some rare candies into there. We'll power them up a little bit. And then maybe also hash some eggs, because I know I've got seven, I, I'm sure we're all fed up with, uh, with eggs, but well, we might as well look for those. And today is September 26th, so uh, actually later on in today's video, we might go out and go look for the new shinies in Pokemon Go, because why not? Yeah, I actually kind of forgot to mention that. Today today is September 26th, so this is when Mime Jr. is available in Pokemon Go Shiny, only in Europe, um, and it's when Zangoose and Saviper are now uh, Shiny in the Wild, available to be Shiny in the Wild. And actually, we do get quite a bit of Saviper spawns. I, we got him. I see Saviper quite a bit here in Santa Monica, um, although we won't be in Santa Monica by the time the updates, update is live, we'll be in San Diego. So like, we'll have to see how that goes, but, um, yeah, who knows? All right, cool. Any raids? Uh, not really. I mean, there's a Shinx. I mean, we might as well, but let's head to the city. Ooh, now tell me what to do. Sometimes I feel. Well, well, well. Speaking of egg hatches, I'm gonna get kicked off my camera. Okay, let me just hatch eggs as much as I can. Yeah, all right. These are just, I'm still doing 7Ks because it's like the 5Ks, the new 5Ks aren't here yet. Um, and, I mean, listen, we still have the possibility and the potential of that shiny pseudo wudo out of the seven k. I can't even talk. I'm like sprinting. Shiny pseudo wudo out of the ugh, seven k's. Man, we're gonna have to hatch that at some point, right? After like three billion eggs, it's got. It's gotta happen. And Toby next. Let me see. Well, that was a big GG there. GG eggs. Wait, before uh, the day is over. Well, I mean, like right now, actually, is 1:14 p.m., which means the uh, International World Tourism Day event. Has begun, so that is out right now. So we can uh, officially look for Shiny Saviper. Uh, also, too, we have a clink raid that is not working. I just uh, there was a clink raid here, and I figured like might as well make an extra little stop here just to get this just to get this in. But 
Come on. I got it. We got to go. I don't have time for this. Network error. Sick. I think the time ran out on the raid and then just like it's one of those days. So uh, we're going to get screwed. Come on, man. Do we wait it out? Do we just reload the game and then take the L? That sucks. Well, I wanted to use the extra drill in, uh, or the or drill bit in one more clip and one more raid. Uh, that's going to be a big GG's. There was only like five minutes left on it when I saw it, but like it had time. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb that it like consistently does that where the raid will just error out and like you won't even get a shot. Like if you get in the raid, you should be able to raid. Okay, well, there's that. We're here in San Diego. We have made it. And before we end off the video, I want to do some Pokedex evolutions. I kind of forgot to do that in today's episode, so might as well do it now. Okay, before we close out, I want to scroll all the way down here, and uh, we're going to get a couple things in the Pokedex. For one, I'm going to evolve this guy, uh, because uh, let's be real here, uh, this is kind of cool, the fact that it's 19 CP, we caught it wild, um, this was dope. We're just going to evolve it on over um, to from, uh, what is what is this thing called? Well, I know this is Tranquil, and it's Evolution, which is going to be called Montreal, is, uh, oh, there he is, ah, wait, it's a, it's a pheasant, pheasants, it's a... Uh, the pheasant, pheasantic, pheasantic, niantic, pheasantic. Ah! Well, he's in the Pokedex. All right, what is it? It's an uh, unpheasant. Ah, I'm so close. Montreal. All right, well, we got unpheasant in the Pokedex now. That's cool. Uh, it's definitely new, so that's something. It's nothing like super special. I think it might be like the most OP. It could be the most OP PvP monster in the entire game, and I would have no idea. I see one leg is shorter than the other one. Interesting, but that's cool though. Unpheasant in the Pokedex. I kind of wanted to grab that because it's a smaller evolution. Also, too, I want to evolve Pat Rat um, to probably the most frightening Pokemon, or at least one of the most frightening Pokemon in this entire game. Um, I actually don't know the evolution's name. I, I don't want to know the evolution's name because it's so dang scary. This is like the cat in the hat in Pokemon Go. Look at this thing. That is frightening, man. Look at its eyes. Oh my gosh, it's got a hand coming out of its tail. Holy moly, this is like, this is literally the cat in the hat in Pokemon Go. Oh, look at that guy. Watch out. Watch out. Uh, actually, Gilly and I have a <laughs> inside joke about the watch out. Um, but it's cool though because when you press it, uh, it lights up, which is super sick, and it's shiny is pretty cool too. So if we get another shiny um, uh, Pat Rat, we will definitely be getting our shiny Watok because this is a really, honestly, a really cool Pokemon. Um, and again, it like lights up on the outside, so I think that's super dope. And is there anything else that I can just kind of grab at the end here that I would be okay with doing right now? Honestly, Lily Pup spawns everywhere. Um, it's not really a, <laughs> not a great Lily Pup. Or should we get? <laughs> Should we evolve this? We have a 10 CP baby purloin. No, no, no. Okay, we, we did that with one Pokemon. We won't do it with two. Let's evolve our lily pup on over to... Watchhog. <laughs> That's not it. I'm Yeah, I'm evolving lily pup. It's really cute. It looks like the kind of dog that lives in like a rich uh, mansion in London. <laughs> so here we go. We have a hair de air. Nice in the Pokedex, and we won't evolve it anymore because uh, we'll leave that last one for another time. But that's cool too. Another uh, another brand new Pokemon here in Pokemon Go. Um, I would evolve some starters, but like we're gonna wait till we can evolve those all the way over, which is gonna take some time. I can't wait to evolve this 98 Snivy. And actually, I did find one at Starbucks today, which is pretty cool. So looking around here, that's probably gonna be where we're wrapping up. I'm just so excited to have this 98 IV Excadrill. As we get more candies for this, we're definitely gonna be powering it up because uh, I do want to max this out. But I didn't want to use all my rare candies. But this is dope. Super duper excited to have that one. That is fire. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. Again, we're gonna be in TwitchCon. Probably today when you're watching this, we should be at the actual convention. So if you guys are looking around, look out for me. And if there was an announcement about a new partnership that I have, a big partnership that I have, um, it will be at the beginning of this video. For now, Lauren and I are gonna go head out to the Discord party. So shout out to everybody over at Discord. Hopefully we'll be working with you guys closely, more closely soon here. Uh, and speaking of Discord, the Discord for mental health, if you guys need to talk about anything and everything, um, in the link below. So go check that out. And also we'll be going to the 100 Thieves Lil Dick Tostino's throwdown. So looking forward to kicking back with uh, 100T and watching 
Lil Nicky, which is pretty cool. So, gonna go do that. See you guys in the next video. Peace. What a